Hey, we're behind the scenes at Series Fest here at the C Film Center. I'm Ben Green, I'm sitting down today with Steven Girasulo and Kevin Corrigan, who uh, are the creators of The Holdouts, one of our comedy series. That's uh, it, it's the Colorado premiere here today, right? Yes, the Colorado premiere is a world premiere, actually. Uh, uh, so, we're, so we've never we we screened the other day uh, Thursday for the first time, and so this is our world premiere. Uh, and just to clarify, uh, I, I co-created the Holdouts. Uh, Kevin is the star of the Holdouts and an executive producer and very much behind the creation, but um, just to clarify the roles. Uh, but yeah, this is our world premiere. Uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Congratulations, congratulations on your world premiere. That's so exciting to have it here at Series Fest. Uh, so the Holdouts is about New Yorkers who are being uh, bought out of New York, right? Um, talk to me a bit about, uh, it, th you guys are both New Yorkers, right? Well, Kevin, I know you're born and raised in New York. Did, talk to me a bit about why you uh, picked this project to work on. Uh, yeah, I was born and raised in the Bronx. And uh, I, I've, I've, you know, except for the five years I lived in L.A., I, I've lived in New York my whole life. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I've, I, I have like... Uh, I've never wanted to live anywhere else, uh, and um, I've I've seen the place change. I'm very, uh, you know, I, I, I my my relationship to the city is very personal, and it and it 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 goes back to, uh, you know, my 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 parents are also you know born and raised in New York, uh, and. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I I kind of took after them in terms of you know uh, uh, having this like personal identification with the city, and so uh, I, I just uh, it's it's kind of uh, it's hard to watch the city change. I mean, that's that's what it does; it changes. But um, you know, it's it's uh, anyway. I, I there's a there's a uh, a website called Vanishing New York. About ten years ago, this guy started to uh, document, you know, the the uh, the closing down, uh, uh, the the shutterings of all these different businesses and mom and pop, you know, small businesses mainly, and uh, diners and bars and movie theaters and you know all these things that characterized the city. And so, uh, but he made sense out of it it would turns out it wasn't just a coincidence you know uh it's what he called the uh, um hyper gentrification uh and so i i would shoot you know these articles to the co-writer of the of, of the holdouts dan yeah, thank you. and and um uh, you know then then steven and dan took it and built it into into a, a, a you know a, a script and it was you know I, I just stepped right into it you know it was kind of tailor made somewhat but you know Stephen has his own uh, his own identification with the city and his own personal feelings about it and we just all ended up being on on the same page about it, which is a beautiful thing. And, and also, just to chime in there, with Jeremiah Moss, he's coming out. You know, his he has a book coming out. I don't I don't want to mess up the title, but his book. And then and I'm not plugging his book, is but it's about the timing. His book is about there's some line in the like a uh, like a subline in his book about the dying. It's like a city that lost its soul. And I think there's a common thread there in that. In, in this, even though it's a comedy, you know, in a lot of the episodes that we're creating in the pilot episode, we, Dan and I always try to keep in mind that the city's losing its soul and that Kevin's character is trying to save it somehow and he just doesn't know maybe how, you know, and how do you preserve something that's sort of dying away? Like, the, you know, people are leaving. If the people that, are ma that make the fabric of the city, maybe for years, say it's the middle class or the working class or the people who almost like, just really got dirty and made that city what it is. If they can't afford to live there anymore, then what happens to the city? Who's living there? And then if it falls apart, who's going to pick up the pieces when it falls apart? Probably the people who made that city the way it is. That's, that's kind of like in a 
I think a common thread with Jeremiah Moss's book and what we're doing, and I think it's perfect timing. And yeah, I find this to be a really interesting subject because I'm from Denver. Series Fest is in Denver, um, and uh, I, I, I was born and raised here. And over the last four or five years, probably since pot got legalized, it has changed drastically and people have been flooding into the city there are huge uh, cranes building up tall apartment buildings yeah and it's um it's interesting because I know a lot of people who are, have grown up in the city feel a loss I mean I live in LA now so it doesn't really affect me but a lot of people feel like the city's losing its its culture and its 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 purpose its original purpose and I wonder do you think that's something that every city goes through every generation or do you think there's something really specific about what's happening to new new york right now um well i i i think you know there's some version of that change that goes on in every generation you know if you look at you know new york city or or any city before world war ii you know uh or, you know, you look back at the turn of the century, you know, from, from the Civil War into the 1890s and 1900, you know, with, uh, you know, we went from like, you know, gaslight to electricity, we went from like horse-drawn carriages to, to automobiles, you know, all of those things caused like this huge sea change, you know, and like well, the tallest building in, in New York City was the Woolworth, Woolworth building, building uh, yeah. you know, uh, uh, until... Uh, I mean, it, it, it only held that title for, for a couple of years. And then one tall building after another started popping up. It was like New York City is, was, it's an explosion. And, uh, but it, I think, you know, that, that rate of change is, is, is uh, it's, 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 it's accelerating, I think, you know. I think it's uh. accelerating a lot in New York, which is, I think... To add to what Kevin was saying, it's happening in Denver. I read the article right away when I arrived about gentrification, how it's hitting Denver, and the mayor wrote a huge editorial in the paper the day I arrived, actually. I wanted him to come to the screening or at least know about it, but I think we, 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 we focused on New York because we're, we're from New York or we have an identification with New York, and maybe it's more drastic there right now in terms of present day of what's happening. So the, the, the classes and how it's sort of this sort of middle class or working class people is disappearing and the prices are so high there and San Francisco is definitely comparable but I think it's happening in all major cities around the country and it's not a mistake that even a paper in China uh, interviewed us because in Beijing there's a lot of holdouts there uh -huh. and they were like oh you guys have holdouts in New York we didn't even know you, you even know about holdouts because they're, they're growing pretty fast and they have these skyscrapers going. I mean, these are these little buildings, you know, at these, it's just like this one picture in Beijing, this guy just sitting in his little shack and there's all these towers going around it and it's symbolic. And I think that it's a New York centric series, but I think it really hits upon what's happening in a lot of cities right now. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's, it's the holdouts. It's about a couple of holdouts. It's by a couple of holdouts in New York City. We both got evicted in Hell's Kitchen, yeah, which I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's so exciting to have you guys here at, at Series Fest. Uh, the, uh, the holdouts is today at, is that? It's today at 11.45, uh, screening in, I don't know, the bigger theater, Mag Maglione Theater? Yeah, yeah. Maglione. 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 Rocco. <laughs> Rocco. Anyway, yeah. Today at 11.45. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for sitting down with me uh, and for coming out to Denver to join us, you know, getting out of the, the big uh, dying city and joining us in this, in this little tiny town of Denver, Colorado. Um, yeah, it's a great town, man. I love it here. I love it here a lot. Uh, we're at the we're at the C Film Center. If you want to come see these guys, that their their amazing comedy series is is premiering today, world premiere. Uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, I'm Ben Green signing off.